Hello my beautiful Aries, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome, welcome to this channel. What we are doing today is next three months. So it is July, August and September. We're going to have a look at the general reading, okay? Take what resonates. Plus check out your sun, moon and rising and Venus and other signs as well. Because sometimes and very often we resonate more than just with sun or just with the moon. And once you get into that, you will realize how rather complex we all are. And perhaps it's not the sun reading that might resonate with you more, but maybe more moon because you are in that stage where you need to hear that particular message as well. Right, Aries, I really hope you're doing great. Please open your minds. Use your intuition. We're going to have a look first with Keeper cards. And then we're going to dive through the rest nine decks that I have here prepared for this reading. I don't know what to expect. We'll see. I'd say each month is going to be different. So this is for July. And I'll look at that August. I'm going to leave it upside down for later. No sneak peeking. And September, please. Thank you. All right, let's get the Lenormand cards in as well. And then we can kick off with further down with tarot. To apologize, I'm still recovering. My voice perhaps isn't the, the brightest, <laughs> but yay, I'm okay. I'm okay. August and September. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, Aries. Wow. I know some of you are literally expecting a child, uh, building a new home, building your business, having new ideas, because the child isn't just a child. This is perhaps it is a family unit, right? Um, but it's talking about you working on your inner child, working on your inner wishes and wishes coming through. What is concerning a little bit? There's a little bit of stagnation happening because number four, very even numbers. What it means is action is needed. If you have a dream, look how this little girl are dreaming, has dreamy eyes and uh, cuddling up to the little rabbit. Super happy and super cozy. And it feels this is a card as well of security. Perhaps you are doing everything to prepare yourself for winter or prepare your whatever kind of financial uh, situations that we are all going through. But it feels like you are planning to do something. Either to move home, uh, this is your plan, starting your business, starting a new job, but you are keeping a secret. And I'm not I'm not judging you. And that's probably is the, perhaps is the best thing to do at the moment as well. Let's dive in. Uh, Aries, what is going on? As I said, I feel some of you are planning. And I understand when, when one is planning to have a child or baby and it's it's not coming as easy as you would like to because it is important to keep that to yourself wow leo's here strength card right oh wow okay i just got the messages here from from spirit saying you're going to be in position you will be put in position where don't you worry you have everything going for you you have every single tool in your toolbox okay i meant metaphorically speaking um, I'm going to say straight in, okay? Some of you, some of you are going to be doing this on your own. Either raising a child or starting a business or moving home. It's going to be not easy, but it's very doable because everything is going to go for you. You Once you apply yourself, and this, this is a card of confidence. Absolutely. Use your confidence. Do not let anyone talk down on you. Um, talking out oh this is a crazy idea whatever hence i see what and i'm feeling why you're actually keeping it to yourself very much so um let's pull a mama cards here and it's not going to come easy but you're going to be putting yourself oh wow okay yeah there is some sort of restrictions that is someone wants to either control your mind Inter wow it is so interesting we're just literally having even numbers as if like someone's trying to, I wouldn't say sabotage you as much. I would like more to say 
restrict what you're worth or someone is restricting um i'll i'll give you this amount what i think you should be having and you're feeling like stuck perhaps some of you are stuck in relationship perhaps some of you are stuck in a house someone's stuck in your marriage and or place of work where you feel like i can't grow i am better than this i'm this person here who is tackling this lionesses but in powerful lovingly powerful way and with the eight of swords this is definitely external um influence and what is this external influence is is literally giving me it is kind of giving me something but not what i want or how much i want i feel like i've been literally fed crumbs and that's not what i'm about right that's what um that's what tarot is kind of saying to you let's pop another deck here and seeing what else is going on so this is very oh revolution i uh, hearing revolution aries wow says, look at this okay so i'm guys i'm feeling it you are you have had enough either way or one way or another you are gonna break free mm -hmm. because you have perhaps discovered someone either is cheating or someone has been um behind the scenes behind your back being um not trustworthy okay and you're just like no this is not me and this is not i don't want to deal with this pettiness this is who i'm about and by doing that step away stepping away from those restrictions stepping away from limitations other people's limitations towards you you're gonna feel like your cup is overwhelming with emotions happy emotions perhaps new person coming in your life as well right what else do you need to know what else do you need to know? What is the most significant thing for July, for Aries? You need to know. Wow, look at that. Endings, guys. This is wowzers. Look at that. This card, Scorpio. You can't make this happen. <laughs> you just can't make this uh, stuff up. Now, endings. And it, as dramatic as it looks, perhaps it's going to be not as dramatic with the knives in your back. But someone is gonna try to win you over someone is gonna try to talk you out of it you have to stand up for yourself and this one here with the death card the white rose is declaring peace you want peace you want it's your time to shine you're gonna have some serious transformation either becoming pregnant becoming starting new work moving away from that i'm gonna clarify what kind of endings we're having here more but this is definitely month of and if someone is waving a flag revolution it's kind of like white flag but not white flag saying oh come and rescue me but it's a card of saying i'm here to make my own luck i'm here to make my own happiness i do not want to depend on someone else's crumbs okay or leftovers i'm gonna decide what my life is gonna be you are not lost okay you don't need to find yourself you are going to make yourself what endings are happening okay yeah there's for some of you are perhaps are going to have some uncomfortable situations conversations with the person and either your heart is broken or it's going to be unpleasant but you're going to reach the peace because you are you have two aces guys this is double yes okay this is yes from and you know it deep down in your heart as well it's, you are doing the right thing for you this month is all about you because you had enough um, supporting everyone else. What else? Yeah, look, Page of Pentacles. You're going to get some real valuable, valuable information here that you need for, for this month. Very, very powerful indeed. Let's have a look at the other cards. What do we have? If you believe... And I think you do. It's absolutely everything about your belief system. Truth. Wow. The truth is coming out of the house. The truth is coming out of that uh, stuck period. Okay. Bring love into situation. And that is definitely resonating with Ace of Cups. Perhaps it could be new love or even love for yourself. Look, we got the star. You want to be top and you deserve to be in top. 
you're going to be spending some time on your own. And if you are not, perhaps it's needed to meditate, ask for help and assistance and guidance. But it feels like you're going to be actually charging your batteries um, uh, on your own when you are on your own. Right. Ready for August. Courtship. Wowzers. Okay. This is unexpected. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to clarify in a minute, but with a courtship, either you start a new work or work starting working in a new co community. And this is going to be um, not an easy chapter. Not an easy chapter, I'm not going to lie to you. Because there will be some, You, I feel like you might feel that you need to prove yourself to something or someone. Uh, feels like you're trying to prove your worthiness. And what is interesting, we have the four and four. It's that saga from the July is still handling, hanging around that energy. As I said, someone might have perhaps are trying to talk you out of leaving job, talk you out of leaving um, a relationship. Okay, and you're just not having it. Eight, eight of ones, beautiful. And I've what I love to see here is guys is your core energy here is so optimistic. And you know how, how I feel about this here? It's a message here. It is going to be rocky ride, but your foundations are so strong. No one's going to rock your boat, okay? Because this is a crucial period of time in your life where you're going you're gonna to feel a bit up and down. That's absolutely fine. But this is going to be real make your break it time and this is probably will be the kind of time at least july and august as far as i can see um where you feel like my life before and my life after that's how i feel what's this communication perhaps you're traveling somewhere meet, meeting seeing someone some wedding some um, uh, networking communication perhaps meeting new people um yeah interesting Page of Cups. Okay. Whoa. The card just fell off. <laughs> Six of Cups. Okay. Are you... I'm going to go straight in, guys. Because I don't... <laughs> yeah. Some of you are rekindling with a um, person you know before. Um... I don't think this is this person here, but perhaps it is. Maybe you want to make up, whatever. But I feel like this is more person from much more from the past. Okay. Or perhaps you're having some conversations. You know this person and they have revealed. Uh, I think their relationship as well. It's not been very happy. It's kind of feels like, I wouldn't say middle age, but it does feel like you have realized that all your life has not been what you expect it to be. You've been with a person who maybe have, perhaps have changed. And you you had enough, right? It feels like you've been carrying the load on your back for many, many years. Right. What else we need to know about this? Is it anything about work? Is it anything about work for Aries and money for August? Thank you. Okay, five of cups. You're going to feel like you could do better. And that's just, just pure observation here. Because I feel that your life is going to be, majority is going to be about your living conditions, your general how you feel about. And perhaps even though you are maybe doing some new work or whatever, you might not be 100% into this. Okay, You might feel that you could do a bit, bit better. It's your feeling that, oh, it could, it, it, it's good. Okay, it's good, but it could do a bit better. What's this five of cups about? What are you concerned? Why are you not entirely happy? What Aries is not happy about that? Mm. Perhaps some decisions you felt that, um, so if, a little note here, if any of this you are not agreeing with, it's good. Listen up and then perhaps you can change this because you have free will. So some of the decisions 
you feel like you have done better. So when you make decision, and it's not just about is it right or wrong decision, but the reasoning behind the decision that matters the most, okay? And hence you're feeling, oh, I could have made it better. I could have maybe took a, waited and got another job that was paying a bit more, but I rushed into something, okay? That's kind of sort of example. But okay, what else you need to know about work? What else? Work. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Look. I don't feel like if perhaps some of you are mixing relationship and love with work. Uh, I'm not here to judge. But it feels like there's a new opportunities are coming your way. Very, very quick. We have two eight of wands here. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And the Wheel of Fortune is literally saying you are in the right time, right place. Even though you might feel like there's some dramas happened in your life. But very quickly, the situation is going to change and improve. Okay. Recovery. You got, this is a month of recovery. We had the revolution, okay? This is a month of recovery. Practical intuition. And I've, I have to say, the Queen of Swords is definitely about being in sync. What's going on? Reading between the lines, people, places, faces. Um, using that intuition on a day-to-day -day basis as well. What else do you need to know? Communication. And I got to say... And this is eight, eight of wands is definitely communication. Perhaps you are dealing with people overseas um, or traveling. But very being true to yourself is a big part that plays here as well. That you know that you are honest with yourself. Setting your goals and going for it. Being very specific what you want. Because if you want wishy-washy work, job, you're going to get wishy-washy. If you want to wish you wishy person, you're going to be like, you're going to get it, okay? Because you're going to be, oh, well, uh, you are going to achieve your dreams. Look, have faith and hope because there's something better on the horizon, which you can't see yet, okay? So having that practical intuition and seeing within, feeling, okay, is this right for me? Yes or no? I'm very simple. You know it. September. What you need to know about September, Aries. Wow. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Tell the neighbor and fish. Look, it is, has already, uh, straight away, as I'm feeling it, this is a month of, um, yeah, labor, fruits, rewards. Okay. It's a harvest, month of harvest, metaphorically, for you. And with because of fish, it's plenty, it's abundance. A lot of other job opportunities or job offers or money or whatever. There will be no shortage. If you're self-employed or if you're working, you will not have a shortage of supplies, you know, offers, orders, etc., etc. It's definitely month of plenty. This is month of plenty of great um, stuff. Look, let's dive in. Let's dive in. Aries, what's, what's happening? What's the core kind of energy? For September. Sun. Isn't this amazing? Your every month was completely different. Yet the last month of this trio is beautiful. Look, this is golden opportunity. Right? And look, you are going to be super happy. You are going to be super happy. You have come through some tough times here. And you're going to rebuild yourself, rebuild a new home, new place of work, perhaps even. And kind of rebuilding life in, in ways. Uh, definitely the sun is bringing the best out of everything. When the sun comes in reading, it's like sprinkles little sun uh, rays on every single card and it just improves. Um, this is kind of really card of being right time, right place for sure. Absolutely. And sun shining in you. Universe is shining in you. Universe got your back. Right. This is you, baby. <laughs> Aries, this is you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because you're going to feel like king, like queen. You done it. No one else. You're going to feel like oh, that kind of moment, you know. <laughs> I am I have arrived. The queen Aries, queen Aries has uh, arrived. And what is interesting on the bottom, we have the tower. And what Tower is about is you are rebuilding your new home. You are rebuilding your life. 
and you have let the tower fall. You have let the tower fall for a reason. So you can build a new one. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's dive further. Why we have the tower? Why? What is this about? What is this about? Opportunities. Empress. Hey, hey, hey. Abundance. Look, this month is turning into one heck of a winning month indeed. Um, you are breaking away from the same or same, or you're breaking away from uh, some sort of suppression or um, limitations, and you're putting down new seeds. Very abundant. Extremely abundant. What you're doing in September is just going to blossom in one big um, happy outcome. Now, let's have a look. If there's any messages for work, for Aries regarding work, and even though I feel it, this is very much not just work or love related, but in general as well. You're going to feel very uh, powerful, uh, fertile. Yes, indeed, because fertility empress, she's the mother. She's a mother. Some of you perhaps are maybe actually falling pregnant, okay, or already finding that you're pregnant. Oh, so there's star. Look at that. Aquarius is here. And look, Queen of Pentacles. This is the most beautiful. So you're going to reach a, a very, very good point in your life here. You're going to feel like you're the queen. You're the king. You What you say is what it comes. But you're putting a lot of work into this as well. And the universe is granting you um, some massive rewards. You know how to make money. You know how to... Um, you Actually, you're claiming yourself here. Big time. It feels like you have finally not found yourself, but you created a new Aries, new persona, a successful one, the way you wanted it. Romance. All right. Wow. Not the right time. Okay. Are you work focused on work? Let's find out. Because it feels like there could be a person actually that is around. No. Okay not the right time perhaps and don't worry about that because when the time comes because i think you're very much focused on your work you're very much focused on your life in general to get yourself back on track before you want to uh, let someone else in as well understanding knowing how the world works knowing how the the world ticks right knowing how yourself um a win-win outcome is forecast and you are good enough. It feels like you have a massive healing happening here for you as well. You are claiming your own powers. You're claim, claiming your own strength. And you have called your spirit back. You have called your energy back. And you are unstoppable. Absolutely. What angels would like to tell you. The stars. Look. And lack is on your sides. Aries. This is beautiful. You are protected. Don't you worry. If you need any help, just ask. Angels are here for us. But because they respect our free will, very often they are asking us to ask when we need the help, rather than interfere. <laughs> you can't walk away. That romance is there. Like So watch out the space because Chantal is saying, new romance is imminent. Either with newcomer or through rain and passion with the person you had the existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Oh, wow. What a heck of three months, eh? All right, my beautifuls. Thanks so much for being here. This feels like kind of your place, face. Yes, indeed. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment as well. Let me know if there's any other readings you would like me to do. Any focus more on love or, um, or money or maybe angel readings. Just pop in the comment section. And I always try to reply as soon as I can because I love interacting with you guys. Until then, love and light, and I'll see you in the next reading. Ta-da!